Let me go over here. Now, so in PRPC, from PEGA 7 onwards, we have two types of locking. One is default locking, other one is optimistic lock. So default locking mechanism works like this. Whenever a requester opens the case, PRPC verifies the table PR sys locks. Okay. So PR sys locks. PR sys locks. So in this table, it will verify whether an entry is available or not. If an entry is available, then that means it is already been logged. Suppose if an entry is not there, by the time you are opening the case, it will verify for the PJ dynasty of this case, whether it has an entry on any of the operator name in the table. If it is not there, means there is no one currently working on it. It will make an entry in this table with the PJ dynasty key that is as a reference key here and operator name who has held the lock, who wants to held the lock. That means it has now acquired a lock that is default locking and default lock time is 30 minutes. We can override in the case type rule where you can give 15 minutes. That means 15 minutes will be the default locking time overrated ideal timeout. Now other type of locking mechanism is optimistic locking. See now I have applied optimistic locking on this case. So what is an optimistic locking is you can see here an action taken on case lock will be acquired only when an action is being taken on the case. So what does this mean? This means that I am going to open the case requester one is going to open the case PRPC will not acquire a lock. Requester two can open the case requester three can open the case four everyone can open the case. PRPC is not going to acquire the lock on it. Now, so the, the moment you are going to perform an action on the case, I am going to submit the case. I am working on the case. Someone else is working. Third party, the another one, requester three is also working. Everyone can work on the case simultaneously. PRPC will not acquire lock. Now, immediately I submit the case. Once I submit the case, that moment lock will be acquired. After the data is been committed, everything is done, lock will be released. It's in a fraction of seconds. It will be done. So now, suppose I have opened a form, I have updated some data and submitted. Parallelly, someone else is going to work on. I have submitted. After me, he has submitted. For him, a lock will be acquired. But what happens? Already, data is being updated by someone else. Now, system will display another requester has updated data for this case. You have to refresh and proceed forward. That is the way of optimistic locking. Look at here. So just let me go ahead with default locking mechanism. First of all, for our regular workflow, what we have, I'm going to create a case with the regular workflow. So just to make it uh, easy, I'm going to open other developer operator. This is default locking mechanism. I want I'm going to show you now. So we have another admin operator. What is this application? Tata, right? Tata DevOps 2 is there. Developer operator ID. Okay, what is the work of it ID here? October 31, 2017 1. This is the case. So now requester 1 is already working on the case. Whereas requester 2 is trying to open the case. What happened now? Look at here. So this is currently being modified by requester 1's name is this one. Means lock is already acquired. Whenever you open the case, default locking mechanism is working. Okay. Because for the workflow, I did not specify any optimistic locking. I executed this flow. It is following default locking mechanism. Sorry, this one. Okay. This is default locking mechanism. Whenever a case is being modified by a requester, so other requester simultaneously tries to open the case, it shows a lock. Coming to optimistic locking. For our case type, look at here, for the Tata case, I have specified optimistic locking. Now I am going to create case. Now the cases that you create here follows which locking mechanism? Optimistic locking. Uh, where is it? Uh, <coughs> Uh, 
so here the case id is t-127 case is being worked on okay sorry 27 now other requester is trying to open the case t27 is he able to work on it see simultaneously two requesters are working on the case okay requester one is trying to work on this requester two is also trying to work on this so both simultaneously submits there is no fraction of seconds gap also then that is locking mechanism deadlock will happen okay but there will be definitely I have submitted requester one has submitted now when you click on submit that moment lock is acquired completed lock is released okay now now lock is released go to requester two try to submit what happened this case was updated was updated by requester one okay you want to proceed forward refresh it okay I want to refresh it see here it has taken me to next screen. Already first screen is done by someone else. So this case was modified by someone else. You have to refresh and proceed forward further. This is the way optimistic locking works. So during optimistic locking, lock will be acquired not when you open the case. It will be acquired when you submit the case. Once the submit completes, released. Lock will be released. So multiple requesters can open the case and work on it simultaneously. But one requester submit, the next requester it will display a message trying to proceed forward. It will display a message. It was being modified. Click on the refresh button to proceed forward. Okay, that is how optimistic locking works. Okay, clear. So now we go ahead and understand about locking mechanism between parent and child. So open the child case. Parent case has optimistic locking, child case locking mechanism. Look at here, locking strategy is inherited from parent case type always. This is a common practice. See, child case always takes the locking mechanism from the parent case. Look at here, locking strategy is inherited from parent case type. What is the type of locking? Child also will follow the same locking mechanism. Optimistic locking. Optimistic locking. Now, I am going to close this. Discard this. Close it. Here you go ahead and choose default locking. Now, I have changed it to default locking. Let's get this saved. Now open the manager approval case and verification case. Go to settings tab. Manager approval case locking. See, look at locking strategy is being inherited from parent case state. It is always same. Whether it is default locking or optimistic locking, on a child you cannot specify a different one. Whatever that parent locking mechanism follows, child follows the same. Parent follows default locking, child follows default locking. Parent follows optimistic, child follows optimistic locking. So, but here you can specify the ideal time out. Okay, that will be also copied now. See, I will tell you the default behavior of locking mechanism, how it works in child and parent is, suppose if I open a child case, automatically PRPC acquires a lock on parent. That is how PRPC is designed. PRPC is designed for its locking mechanism. When you open any one of the child, parent will be locked. Meaning, when someone is working on child, see, team 1 can work on child 1, team 2 can work on child 2, team 3 can work on child 3 like this. When you open team 1 is working on child 1, parent will be locked. You don't want that behavior. You want everyone to be independently work on the things. Do not lock parent case when this child is open. Open this verification. So if you select this checkbox, there is a provision to override the functionality. Whenever the child is open, by default parent case will be acquired with a lock. No one else can work on that parent case. So now, if you do not want to this behavior to happen like whenever the child is open parent should not be acquired with a lock on the child case you have an option to select that is do not lock parent when the child is open checkbox if you check this checkbox 
parent case will not be acquired with law. You can independently sub team one can work on child, team two can work on parent. This has to be selected. Okay, this is the locking behavior. Okay, by default, parent case locking will be acquired to child case, whether it is parent or whether it is default locking or optimistic locking. So the default behavior in PRPC is every time when you open a child, parent case also will be acquired to lock with the same requester. So to override this behavior on the child case, you have a checkbox. Do not lock parent case when the child is being opened. If you select this checkbox, it will not lock. Independently, parent case can be worked on by someone else. Independently, child case can be worked on by someone else. This is clear now. These are all there, locking when default something. See one more point you have to understand here. See, do not lock parent case when the child case is being performed will work only for default locking mechanism. It is not applicable for optimistic locking. In case of optimistic locking, See, when the when the child has a parent, then only this works. That too, it should follow default locking mechanism. So now, think about it logically and tell me why it is not given for child uh, optimistic locking. Do not lock parent option will be considered when the, with, when the case he has a parent case and this locking mode is default locking. Its locking mode is default. Only when default locking mode, you can check this checkbox. Do not lock parent when the child is open. So if it is optimistic locking following, this is not applicable at all. Why? In an optimistic locking, anyway, when you open lock will not be acquired. Only when you submit that fraction of time. So that, that means if you are an optimistic locking, by what is the default feature? When you open a child, anyway, child itself is not being acquired a lock on it. There is no meaning of parent acquiring lock. Only the moment you submit the child that time only on the child it will acquire a lock that is fraction of second simultaneously parent and child can be worked on in case of optimistic lock but in case of default locking so when you open the child immediately it will acquire a lock parent will be locked so if you want to override that behavior open the case type rule and select this checkbox do not lock parent when the child case is being performed okay these are the interview questions that will be asked for the locking mechanism clear